committed to by way of uh, reflection and study and discussion is uh, um, the problem of human civilization, especially in this regard, uh, Christian civilization, because while Christianity is not the only civilizing force uh -huh. in, in the world, you find in Buddhism, you find it uh, in other uh, religions, certainly uh, certainly in Judaism, because uh, the Ten Commandments, when you consider that they arose in the in the in the world of uh, uh, limitless uh, vandalism, yeah, to, to <laughs> somebody comes and and uh, in the name of God puts break on these. Uh, vandalism or, or anarchy yeah. that says you should do this and, and should not do this. That's a great moment in civilization. Yes. Yes, it is. And uh, so uh, civilization did not start with Christianity, but Christianity, you see, uh, we, we, I mentioned the Ten Commandments, but the Ten Commandments was uh, uh, really applicable to a tribe, for a tribe. For a tribe, uh huh. I see. And, uh, uh -huh. uh, and valuable though, though it, it was, Christianity took this. tribal tradition and universalize it. Yes. So yeah. we uh, we became, in that sense, universal Jews, so to speak. I see, I see. Uh -huh. Or Israelites. I see, I see. And so uh, um, uh, and the uh, and, and the Greeks through their philosophy and um, other civilizations, through their own mechanisms uh, of flow and, uh, and uh, organization, uh, contain this uh, uh, anarchy. Uh -huh. and, uh, and that's why civilization ar arose. Uh, and I, and I admit, uh, I admit the, the the fact that civilization is not only a Christian factor, uh -huh. but uh, mm. but Christianity did uh, through the person of Jesus and through his uh, uh, teaching and through the uh, lives and uh, uh, vision of those who caught up the, that spirit, mm -hmm. made it possible for us to feel brotherly towards each other, although we were born on different planets. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. And, uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, helped human beings from so many backgrounds and cultures to converge on something transcendent that uh, enhanced their humanity. Yes, yes. And so um, um, the, the subject of, uh, of Christian civilization uh, and the study of it um, fascinates me. Yeah. Greatly, without uh, denying uh, the fact that civilization predates Christianity, yes. uh, Christianity did not originate it, but gave it uh, 
special, special flavor and, uh, and texture. Yeah. Uh, human flavor and, 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 and texture. Uh, and one of the reasons uh, by now, by now you, you must have uh, noticed my dislike if of Islam, yes. not in the sense that I would, uh, if I had told a community came to my home, I would entertain him <laughs> with uh, all, you know, Christian uh, charity. No, you would But uh, I, <laughs> I don't, respect the Islam chiefly, although the, the Muslims try to make out of Muhammad uh -huh. another Jesus, uh -huh. which he was not. Right. He was a raider, Bob. Mm -hmm. He was, uh, um, and what I did, uh, what I dis dislike about Islam, they make God a terrorist. Mm. You have to submit. Yeah. And uh, and yeah. Uh, this, this submission of uh, every person ought to find his own way of coming into the harmony with the divine spirit. But that's a personal decision. Yeah. If somebody decides that for you and compels you. Uh, uh, compels you to do so, but that's uh, that's terrorism. <laughs> terrorism is uh, is an act, uh, however beneficial, uh, uh, beneficial that that may be, so long as it is not a personal commitment, yeah. but imposed upon upon you and when it's in the name of God. Yeah. God is something. made into a terrorist. Yes, I, I and uh, and uh, uh, first thing that Jesus told uh, taught us, he said, when you call upon God, say, "Our ah, Father, who art in heaven." Yeah. Uh, a man is a father when he is not a when he is a loving presence rather than dictator. Yeah. And so, the name of the Father carries great responsibility of tenderness, care, and, and so yeah, on. Yeah. And, um, and uh, um, <laughs> the, uh, the Muslims, uh, Quran, they have all exalted names for God, yes. mighty, and so on. But, uh, uh, they can't see in him this tender, loving, fatherly spirit, and uh, and uh, Bob, I'm all uh, and and they and they practice it towards others. Yeah. Just now, just now, Bob, uh, I don't know you um, listen to the radio or television. The uh, um, just now that there is this terrorist thing going in uh, um, Pakistan. No, it's not in the the, the uh, Pakistanis are involved against the Indians. Yeah. yeah. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Uh, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. These are a number of uh, uh, Pakistanis who are forcing Indians to release some prisoners. And yeah and so on, and they are prepared to torture these people in this confined place, in this, in this plane, to, you know, to yeah. force them to, to force India to surrender at the expense of torturing these people who have nothing to do with it. Right. And, and uh, mm. that's so, that's one of the instances, Bob. Uh, but uh, what's going on in Indonesia, which used to be Dutch colony, and 
there was a lot of uh, missionary activity and, and there are islands and uh, communities of Christians uh-huh. and now the, the Muslims are attacking these Christians and uh, and that's why uh, knowing that that's why I'm so distressed what was done uh, when, the, when NATO and this country and Bill Clinton went to the uh, Albanian Muslims uh, and uh, bombed the Serbs who were just, the, they have been under the Muslims for 500 years mm. and when this uh, Islamic uh, revolution came about and the, the Muslims of uh, Yugoslavia uh, wanted to transform the country into an Islamic uh, community and they attacked the Christians. We came, you know, whom we help. Yeah. And, uh, and, I'm, uh, and I'm distressed about, uh, about it because uh, this is direct attack, Bob, on what I uh, call Christian civilization. I'm not saying that all Serbs are angels, but they are part of the civilization uh, which, uh, like Levin, is humanizing humanity. Yeah. And for instance, uh, for instance, Bob, we um, keep tradition of Christianity, every Wednesday and Friday we don't eat, uh, we are not carnivores. Mm -hmm. And the reasons why we are not carnivores is not to bribe God, but to have uh, compassion with living creatures. Mm -hmm. We exist on the vegetarian stuff. Uh-huh. Because this does not, uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying that it is, it is wrong to eat protein and meat and so uh-huh. on. But this is, this is an attempt, Bob, to humanize us to, yeah. um, and that's just something basic. Uh, this. Not in the important is, but it is an acknowledgement that this universe is uh, should be respected because it's sacred, yeah. and uh, mm. and uh, such as these uh, um, Serbs are these cousins of mine. In as much as they are Christians, the other Christians, American Christians like you or. The, they ought to have had some sympathy for them in this obvious aggression of the Muslims because these Albanian uh, uh, Liberation Army, these are uh, Islamic revolutionaries with jihad. That's right, that's right. And that's why, um, uh, why I'm at present uh, distressed, not because of the just what happened to the Serbs, but we are not sympathetic as Christians to each other in upholding Mm. this, what I call, Christian solidarity for the sake of of Christian civilization or or Christian spirit in the world. So uh, the history of it that we were Mm-hmm. Talking about mm. how this Christian civilization came uh, came about was, of course, uh, um, through the rise of the Church of Christianity in the Roman Empire, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, the Romans did everything to squash it mm. in the same way that. Uh, the 
Chinese uh, are trying to do this sect. Falun Gong, did you hear about them? Yes, I have. Uh -huh. And uh, but I think I think communists in China are going to lose. Yeah, I think so. Because Bajai uh, uh, <laughs> says there is nothing more. Th this he said this. These communists are fools because by denying God and uh, and the, 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 the spiritual aspect of of um, existence that goes rises from uh, Christianity, uh, he said they are starving human soul, mm. and there is nothing more dangerous, he said, than uh, 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 star human soul become a dangerous ghost <laughs> and turns against those who are starving it. Oh man! And uh, and uh, because human beings cannot live without this thing that we call spiritual dimension. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. Mm. and uh, and uh, in China, of course, what they are doing, they have no strong uh, tradition of of Christianity, but they have been touched by excuse me, by Confucianism and Buddhism, and and they are now improvising something to yes. help them. Excuse me. All right. The moment. I told him that uh, one of the of the things that uh, uh, happened uh, to me both when I I was shipwrecked. Yeah. And uh, one passage uh, in the scriptures in the Acts of the, 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 the Apostles, when Paul was taken from uh, Asia Minor mm -hmm. to Rome, uh -huh. when near the um, Isle of Malta, right. they were shipwrecked. Yes. And uh, I knew that uh, experience well because that's exactly uh, what happened to me psychologically and physically and, uh -huh. and the and God bless them the the um, first the English and then later on other British picked me up and helped me to recreate myself uh -huh. and uh, and I said to myself Lord these Protestants who were so <laughs> wonderful to me <laughs> help me to return something of what I received from them for their sake uh, uh. and uh, well, you've done that too. for finally um, and it was not an accident that the first person who taught me um, exclusively uh, Western theological tradition uh -huh. was a disciple, William Robinson, right, right. one of my saints, you know. Right. <laughs> and then through him and his uh, connection with the uh, Butler School of Religion and CTS, and and uh, two remarkable men, uh, Ronald Osborne and Buford Norris. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Somehow they caught the imagination, uh, and they were both educated uh, theologically in Scotland. Yes. The uh, my Scottish theological and intellectual culture. Yes. And. My uh, connection with William Robinson brought me here, 
mm. to give to the Protestant world with disciples and true disciples what I what you were witness of. That's Attila. Yes. And uh, <laughs> so I was explaining that to Bill Nottingham was on the telephone. Yeah. And uh, and one I told him that one of my great rewards and I want you to hear me well on uh, on this I told him that um, uh, my connection, my uh, sharing of uh, in friendship and the Christian love and and in the Christian uh, um, activity with uh, people like Robinson, people I mentioned, uh, including Bill and including Paul Crow and uh, and of course to my most special friends who are really to me spiritual my sons Ted Nottingham and, and Bob Colson right and uh, and I said it, this is such a gift uh, gift to me that I feel the richest Hoosier <laughs> And I mean that. I want you to know that I mean, I mean that. And it was interesting. It was God is just Bob, because when uh, I was knocked down mm. rudely at CTS mm. uh, by the forces there, uh, about which you you know more than I want to tell you. Mm. It was. It was. The disciples, mm. Tom Williams, yeah. Bob Colson, yeah. Ted Nottingham, uh, uh, and um, others, but especially uh, it was those who stood behind me and said, "May if the whole world rejects you, we are with you." That's right. right. And, and <laughs> memory memory of it, uh, uh, you remember, and I'm so glad that you restrained him because uh, at that time it was uh, interpreted when I took these people to the, the court or yes. complain about uh, that the news was that these ungrateful men was um, debunking uh, the, the, the this graceless person, instead of remembering all the good things we did for him, we picked him up from the street <laughs> and fed him. Uh, uh, and there was uh, <laughs> so like there was this this kind of uh, uh, general. I think I think you yourself mentions some. Uh, Disciple minister who who said, look, uh, older person, look for this child, such and indeed, what character is he that we received him and he yes. did these things to yes. uh, uh, That's right, I remember. To us, whoever he he was, let he rest in peace, <laughs> because I never asked you to uh, uh, divorce him, but at that time, and uh, Ted wanted to uh, protest the whole disciples. Yes. He, he, he wanted to write his uh, protest uh, notice as Luther did. Uh, <laughs> and I'm glad uh, uh, and I'm glad you restrained him that it was no time because I feared mm. they would take anger on him and uh, mm. that he might lose his job. Mm, and I'm thought. glad it was it I've often wondered whether that was the right thing to say. Yes, for myself, to yeah, restrain but, him. Yeah, uh, any, any, it was looking back. It was good well, because I yeah. did not want to dramatize this. Mm -hmm. I wanted to take uh, a beating without, you know, crying too much about yeah. it. But it touched me that 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 he was uh, uh, walking into 
Lion's den. Yes, he was. He, he was, was more than to, willing to. Uh, to Lion's den and and thank God for your uh, for your wisdom or or uh, hmm. restraining hmm. Uh, restraining influence. Uh, hmm. So. I well, he would have burned some bridges that he needed. <laughs> uh, Not to burn. So, Bob, what I'm, what I'm saying is, uh, I came among you. I came to America, uh, and Tom Williams, bless his heart, he calls me missionary to the Gujiers. Right. But my mission is. is Bill Durant. Bill Durant was yeah. uh, to love the party. Yes. Yes. Those books on uh, civilization. History of civilization, yes. Yeah. And, uh, and when he had his retirement party, he said, I call all human beings uh, to vote for one party called civilization. Oh, is that he? Yes. Good, good. And uh, I <laughs> support it. And I came I tried and you are my witness, perhaps the only witness under God mm. that I did the, the best I could to make you the greatest disciple that you could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, you, there was no um, uh, hidden agenda, yeah. Yeah. and uh, um, and I came to promote among you and in America, yeah. and 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 although both my input uh, in one sense is a minuscule as as all our individual, some individuals make greater splashes, yeah. some minor ones, but all that I um, try to do in this country and, and especially within the context of American Christianity was to uh, dramatize or or to, to be a missionary of of this party called Christian civilization, <laughs> because it's relevant to all of us. Yeah, yeah good. And uh, well, I, you know, I think that I I uh, I regret that I am such a, a a private person that I that I uh, I'm I'm having to find my own ways. To um, to uh, respond and ex give expression to all the things you've given but me. The, the 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 wonderful the wonderful thing, Bob. Uh, uh, that's why uh, uh, this very thing that we, that we are uh, that we are talking about is least in you because. I can't look at your painting of the prophet uh. without this. There is power in that uh, picture, but it is awesome. Uh, but it is at the same time uh, sustaining. Uh, protective, uh, uh. <laughs> and uh, yeah. so good. so Bob, uh, I'm I'm glad you are modest about about it, but you you would not be who you are, including where you came from, and especially I'm thinking of of your parents, mm. but because they gave you birth within this womb that mm. we are t 
talking about the mm. Christian uh, um, soil, yes, which certain souls grow certain kind of flowers that are beautiful and great, mm. and. Uh, and I saw the, that uh, um, Mrs. Johnson uh, Johnson, the, the president's wife, uh, whatever uh, they call her. Uh, Clinton. No, 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 Clinton. Oh, oh, Bird, oh, oh uh, Lady Bird? Lady Bird. Lady Bird is uh, fascinated by some indigenous wild flowers. Yes, that's right. That grow uh, the only in Texas, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and there are certain flowers, Bob, that only grow in this soil called Christian civilization, uh, uh, uh. and uh, okay. and uh, Bob, hmm. you are who you are, and uh, and I'm recalling these uh, for your for your sake, to realize that if we pre-existed, mm -hmm. which I tend to think you did, yes. God sent you this way to plant you in this soil in order um, to uh, give you an opportunity to discover on this side Mm -hmm. yeah. What all that I was talking to you, what it means. I think that's right. I and, truly believe uh, it. So, uh, so hmm. uh, however things, and and there is no, there is no human being who lives in this earthly exile mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't suffer, yeah. and life has not been. Even easy for you without all the the the, the shipwrecks that I was mm -hmm. applying to uh, uh, to myself, and sometimes one wonders. Uh, but the other day you told me you were wondering about. You said I'm trying my best to register some steps upward yeah and uh, and I feel frustrated because I don't see them but uh, <laughs> Bob it is uh, it is good that you uh, that you don't see them because I remember that limerick Jack corner sat in a corner and said what a good boy am I yeah. you know <laughs> and God hides from us, uh, Bob, the, the um, <laughs> gifts that we, we have so that we um, stop growing up yeah. and struggling. Yeah. Go in peace. Yeah, you, you too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. I want to give you more of the things to take home.